high school football is in the air. And with our first games almost here, it's time for a preseason look at our area teams. Today, our spotlight is on Penn's Manor High School. And this preview is being brought to you by Mark Arbuckle Nissan, Tate Supermarket and Climber, and the Climber Slovak Club. No matter how hard they tried, it seemed like last year's Penn's Manor Comets couldn't get out of their own way. There was always a key mistake at a crucial moment, coupled with some off-the-field issues that led to a terrible start to their season. Amazingly, after a 1-6 beginning, the Comets won their last three games of the regular season and qualified for the District 6 playoffs, where they knocked off Moshannon Valley on their field to avenge a playoff loss the year before. Coach Billy Packer says this year's team will feature a lot of young talent. Uh, we have a lot of underclassmen uh, that are going to compete for the job. Uh, we only have six seniors out uh, this year, so uh, it's going to be some underclassmen playing there, but uh, hopefully they can come through and uh, uh, do a nice job for us. And, uh, you know, the key to this year is going to be uh, turnovers and staying away from the mistakes. Uh, that hurt us early last year, and... Uh, you know, we started off 1-6, and six and we could have easily have won a few more of those games. The veteran coach says he has a lot of opportunities for young players, and he's hoping his underclassmen grab them, especially on the offensive line. They're competitive with each other. They, they try to fight for a position, and uh, they're, most of them are open. Uh, you know, going into this year, our offensive line, uh, you know, we have a lot of open spots. Uh, Zach Johnson's the only uh, offensive lineman coming back, and... Uh, there's going to be a lot of uh, battles there. Packer says he expects his team to use its speed to be disruptive on defense. He's even going to turn his quarterback on offense, Adam Dumm, into a defensive pass rusher. We're not going to be real big, but uh, we're hoping uh, that we have a little bit of speed that uh, we can get uh, into the backfield and cause uh, havoc there. And uh, we feel our... Uh, uh, defensive backs and our linebackers, we have a pretty nice crew of those guys coming back. And uh, uh, we're going to move Adam Dumb up on the defensive line, and uh, he has some nice speed going in there, and uh, hopefully we can cause some havoc. A real wild card for the Comets will be their home field. Work continues on a new artificial turf surface for Corrigan Field, the only one of its kind in the Heritage Conference, and the coach says his players are looking forward to it. For his part, he's just hoping to get some time on the new surface before kickoff on opening night. They're excited about it, and, uh, you know, we're not going to have any practices on it, I don't believe, before uh, the field's ready, because uh, they're telling us now it's going to be ready like a couple days before uh, the 25th, uh, the first game. So uh, that's all right, though. The kids are excited, and... Uh, uh, we're all excited about uh, having a nice football field there. The Comets host Northern Cambria in our inaugural Heritage Conference Game of the Week, August 25th on 92.5 FM, U92. For your hometown radio station, I'm Todd Marino.